Hey everyone, welcome. This is the video nobody asked about. Uh, I'm still gonna do it anyway. Today I got myself a new graphics card. It's the RTX 2080 Ti and it's a little treat for my Unraid build you see in the background. Uh, two weeks ago Chevy and I did a video about the Steam Link and how you could game across the internet. Um, yeah, stream your own games from your house to the Steam Link and you could basically take the device anywhere you went. And if you have a proper internet connection, well, you can yeah, basically stream every game and play everywhere in the world. That's, that, that was the idea. It worked pretty well. So I sold both my 1080 cards and well, I got the RTX 2080 um, yeah, instead. Seems like a good deal. I bought it new. Well, I bought it second hand, but it was sealed, it was new. Comes with, uh, with a receipt, uh, everything. Yeah, well, you can see in the video now uh, how I unpacked my uh, new treat. Uh, along with that, I ordered this little device and it's a HDMI dummy. Uh, this one, you plug into your graphics card and well, it basically let your computer think there's a 4K monitor connected. I will need this little device if I continue to play on my Unraid gaming build through Moonlight on my RTX 2080. This little device will let Windows think there is a 4K monitor attached uh, at 60 Hz with HDR support. And if Nvidia um, releases their upgraded Nvidia Shield, I will get one. Uh, that device will support HDR uh, like the old one. So um, yeah, I will be set for the future with this, uh, this little tiny thing. It costs about 10 euros, so yeah, not all that much. If we have a look on my Unraid build and I will show you. I installed the RTX 2080 uh, this afternoon and it wasn't without any issues. If we have a look on this VM, um, you can see NVIDIA RTX 2080 all fine and it's working now with the audio controller. There was only one problem. It filled it in automatically. I didn't have to do anything about that, but when I started the VM, it gave me an error that um, it had no access and or something with, with the group. I, I forgot to write the error down. If I find the error, I will post it in the video. Um, so I did a little Google search and apparently these RTX cards come with a well USB 3.0, 3.1 controller, a USB-C connection on the card. And with this card in my Unraid server, my Unraid server sees the USB controller. So it takes access to that USB controller. And if I want to attach this to the VM, then Unraid says, well, the USB controller is already in use and you can't ungroup it from each other. So um, thanks to Space Invader 1, yes, the channel, um, some of you guys uh, mentioned it that I should have a look at what the guy does. And really, he does fantastic videos, especially about Unraid. And he, have, he has this video, a little pass through PCIe IO MMU groups and breaking them up. I will link it in the video description. Yeah, definitely check this out. Uh, let's go back to my Unraid server. If we go to tools and we go to system devices and we scroll down, then we have this group, group 15. Um, it's of course the video card. Then we have the audio controller for the video card. We have the USB controller for the little thingy on the back of this beast <laughs> and the serial bus controller. So these two I will need with my gaming VM. So I wanted to separate them from yeah from my virtual machine gaming yeah and for that i had to edit the sys linux file if we go to main and we go to flash we scroll down we have the boot configuration and you can see here unraid os it's the default option on which my unraid starts up um, this is standard and this is the part i had to add 10 de well basically just the id of the hardware I want to exclude. So if we look up this well line, copy it, we go to tools, system devices, and we'll just show you. It's the USB controller and the other one as well, LED7. Well, I added those two to this line. So with a comma and then the second one, then you scroll down, apply, done, reboot the Unraid server, and I was able to successfully start the VM. So yeah, that worked for me. Uh, that's really nice. So with this and the HDMI dummy, yeah, I would basically have my gaming setup done. 
yeah, I have the, a nice graphics card for 4K on Ultra. Uh, should be able to hit 60 without uh, much issues. So let's have a look again at this gaming VM of mine. It's it's not that special. We did it in the in the previous Unraid videos. Basically the same setup. I gave it four cores, eight threads, um, just some normal configuration. Um, both M.2 SSDs. The the one is the on top is the green. It's the same SSD we used in uh, the previous Unraid videos. And below that is the Intel SP660. It's a one terabyte M.2. Uh, NVMe drive uh, for the games and yeah basically that's it can we see yeah there it is uh, this is the gaming VM and you can see it all the games that I have installed on there the last couple of days well weeks basically um, not much to say about it it's the, the Ryzen and if we have a look at the task manager we have four cores eight threads more than enough for the for the basic gaming configuration and we have the RTX 2080 Ti. With the 1080s I have tried to dump the BIOSes for the cards um, so I could only have one card in my Unraid build but then another problem yeah came along and that was that the uh, Nvidia driver wasn't able to install. It, it gave an exclamation mark with uh, here in the device manager and after some googling and some searching on the Unraid forums I found out that more people had this same problem and probably it's because of the Nvidia driver it detects that you are running in a VM and well you cannot use the Nvidia driver. Some people say you have to buy a very expensive Crado card um, to be able to use virtualization but yeah I thought it was all way way too complicated so I just installed the, uh, the simple graphics card I had laying around uh, just for the for the output for Unraid and in the second slot I put the RTX 2080. The problem with that is that I go from a time 16 slot to a times 8 configuration. Yeah, that's that's the only problem. So far I haven't noticed any well strange hiccups or performance issues with this card. Everything runs really smooth. It will perform better on the i9 and probably I will transfer this card to the i9 and see how it performs there and then based on the results of that I will make a uh, yeah, decision on what I do or maybe I'll turn my i9 into a moonlight gaming, cloud gaming configuration. Who knows? We'll have to see how, uh, how that goes. So let's have a look on a moonlight then. Uh, you can see 1080p 60fps. Um, I'm on a LAN connection, so an ethernet connection and um, I've set it to the max. I forced hardware encoding and what, uh, something that uh, didn't came clear in the previous video because we thought we couldn't see any compression at all. I have to come back at that. Yeah, I, I want that. Um, you can see I've set it to max. And if we have a look, all the games, yeah, really nice. If we have a look on Steam Big Picture, and of course the compression is visible on a YouTube video. I can't get all the compression out of it. YouTube will compress it again. But you can see here is, well, yeah, it's just not that smooth, the colors. And it is a thing with, with Steam Big Picture. It's not all that smooth. But if I close this, so we just exit Big Picture. Yeah, there it is. Yes, thank you. And I start it up on locally on my i9. You can really spot the difference. Of course, this isn't all that smooth and you can see we have some this pointing doesn't <laughs> you can see we have some yeah some not so smooth edges around here so yeah there it could be smoother but it's way less annoying than on the gaming VM so if this bothers me then yeah I will change my moonlight setup if not yeah I will just play with it a couple of weeks to see if I like it because I'm able to stream yeah, basically everywhere in the world with a proper internet connection. On the other hand, um, I must say that the, the gaming experience is quite smooth and for me it's very doable. I'm not a competitive gamer, but I will definitely test it in my i9. And if I come to a different conclusion, I will keep you updated as well. So that's a locally. Loading is done and you can see it on Franklin shirt. We have some color issues as well some 
smoothness is not happening here. Yeah, this is actually the frame rate. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not all that great. Ah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, don't leave your remote connection open. Okay, so, well, yeah, it's it's running really really well. And maybe we have some. Well, basically at night you can see it, but but Dela, it's not that bad. I mean. It's not that I'm complaining or anything, but maybe this will bother me in the future. Because I know it can be better. And once you know that, same with the, with the dead pixel on your screen. If you know it's there, you're going to be annoyed by it. And that's maybe that's the same issue with this. Well, I can't really give you any more examples at the moment of this. But yeah. All in all, the, the gameplay is, is really smooth, but yeah, it's, it's a bit the, the color grading isn't isn't that good to be honest. And it it and I didn't notice it with the, with the Steam Link because it was tested on 20 Mbit. And well, yeah, it it was fine on the television, so we didn't have that much issues with that. And on the other Moonlight testing, I did off cam. It wasn't that visible. Yeah, well, if it's something you can live with, you have a pretty good experience. And the experience is there, and for the mobility on the way, on the go, it wouldn't bother me. No. Um, at home, when I want to play a game, yeah, that could be a problem. Of course, I could just take my Unraid server, connect a monitor to it, because it has pass-through anyway. Um, a keyboard, mouse, and yeah, the compression would be gone as well. Yeah, I could do that as well. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I will do with this. Um, that's basically <laughs> what what I'm trying to say. Um, as for now, we'll just yeah keep on testing different scenarios and yeah, I will keep you guys informed of my yeah progress with this whole gaming setup experience. And yeah, if I have something to mention or point out, I will yeah add it in another video. Um, as for now, it was just. I wanted to share with you the new graphics card for, for now, the Unraid build, the HDMI dummy that uh, goes in. Um, the problem with the pass-through of a RTX card, well, with the USB connector on the graphics card, um, I think all RTX cards have a USB connector for USB type display or some sort of that. So um, you could run into issues like me with a setup of a RTX card and a combination with Unraid. Um, yeah, for that I hope this video will help you out and definitely um, check out the video of Space Invader 1. Um, with that I'm gonna leave the video at this. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, you can leave them down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!